Great. Well, thank you, Alex, for joining us to talk about the upcoming Australian Open. A um, couple of hard-fought matches this week in the ATP Cup. How are you feeling going in? Look, I'm feeling good. Um, you know, it was great to have some quality matches under my belt. Um, and I'm looking forward for AO. I've got a couple of days now to freshen up and be ready to put my best foot forward. It's been uh, a long year coming and uh, I'm definitely ready to go. How excited, genuinely excited are you after last year when you had to pull out of the event? No, I'm, I'm really excited. I mean, this is, it was a very tough time last year uh, having to come out here and, and say that I was pulling out um, of my home slam. I'm very happy to be back here and uh, feeling great, happy in great shape so I'm really looking forward to coming out and, and playing my best tennis in front of my, my home fans Alex, do you, Did you get enough out of the ATP Cup the, the two matches that you played would you have liked a little bit more match practice or are you happy with where you're at going into the Open? No, I'm, I'm very happy I mean, um, I was able to get you know, matches uh, in Antalya uh, you know, first first or second week of the year so I feel like I've had a lot of matches um, now it's just about kind of freshening, freshening up getting ready come Monday, Tuesday and be ready to play I mean uh, I'm hitting the ball great um, body's good it's just about putting a couple of things together and, and s smoothing that out yep. yep what did you learn Two matches this week, Alex. You mentioned you won the Antalya title, lots of confidence there. And then you come up against two of the best players in the world. What did you learn about your game in those two performances? Look, um, I believe in both matches. Uh, it, it was there to be to be taken. Um, I played some some great tennis. Um, just at times, I probably didn't sustain it or, or didn't bring it out when when I really needed to. So, look, the levels there. Um, and it's my first matches in, in Australia, so I'm happy where I'm at. I'm happy that I was able to get those two high-level matches, and, and now I can bring that forward towards uh, AO and hopefully, you know, play some of my best tennis yet. Yep, Viv? Um, Alex, what would you say you've learned about yourself in the last year? Uh, look, I believe this last year has given a lot of people... A lot to, a lot of time, especially to learn about themselves. Um, I've learned different aspects of you know, uh, myself, how I like to enjoy different things um, outside the tennis court. Um, I learned to have to deal with the circumstances and and adapt a, a little bit better. Um, definitely. From now on, won't take for granted um, being able to to move around at a tournament or do stuff. So that's probably something that, if we're allowed, I'll definitely make a lot more use of. Uh, see different places, different cities, uh, not kind of stick to to the hotel room and the courts. And yeah, it's given me uh, an appreciation for for life. Uh, my family, my friends, the people around me uh, that we've all kind of gone through tough times and, and now hopefully we can push this all around and, and enjoy life again. Alex, your serve seems to be the, the talking point whenever you know, against the top players, so that's the area you need to improve. Can, can you talk around what you're doing in that space to improve and get some more on there, get some more free points? Look, um, yeah, it's always kind of one of the things uh, that's brought up and I believe there's uh, many other things as well as that. I mean, it's always going to be a uh, constant improvement um, and that's basically what my, my whole career has been. You know, I, I'm going to keep on improving um, bit by bit. Uh, I have I guess don't have uh, the, the stature to just come down and, and drop bombs uh, which I w wish I could trust me 
so it's just a work in progress and I, I do believe I've been improving that every step of the way and as well as other aspects of my game. Um, these things you're not going to see overnight. Uh, it's just going to gradual improvement, keep going, improve um, a bit of uh, confidence and, and matches and it'll happen. You know, it's... Uh, it's it's gonna happen. Uh, I mean, um, never want to let a part of my game, you know, hinder me. So you know, I know what I've got to work on, and uh, I'll put the hours on the court till I get there. And I strongly believe I'll, I'll never get to the point where I'm satisfied with myself or my game. So that's just giving me, you know, the fire in the belly to to keep improving. Talk about not having the stature, and yet you are sort of a similar build to someone like a Leighton Hewitt. And he was in his career, he elected to sort of take more risks, and you know he was happy to have a, only a 50% first serve percentage because it was, you know, he'd take more risks, a bit bigger. Is that the sort of path you'd, you'd contemplate? Is that something you talked about with Leighton? Look, it's um, different players. Um, uh, I think, you know, I will get to a point where um, you know my my serve is going to be. One of my weapons. Uh, I do believe strongly that you know I've got better matches and, and worse matches, but my my serve has come a long way. And um, yeah, look, I'm gonna keep putting work in in the gym, uh, on the court, just everywhere I can to to keep adding those Ks uh, on that serve and and trying to get more free points. Great. Any more questions in the room? Then we can switch okay, Alex, we'll take one question online. Gonzalo from BA Tennis, please ask your question. Hola, Alex, ¿cómo va? Te quería consultar. Eh, estás ya en el top 30 hace casi dos, tres años. Llegaste a estar top 20. Eh, ¿qué, qué crees, ¿Cuáles son los puntos principales a mejorar para, para poder meterte top 10? Bueno, es, es un salto eh, grande, pero... No lo veo fuera de, del alcance. Eh, estoy jugando a un nivel muy alto. Ahora es solo intentar aguantar eh, el cuerpo y estar sano durante todo el año y, y la cos consistencia durante todo el año. Estoy jugando muy buen tenis y ahora, pues, este año intentar pues sacar mi mejor tenis semana tras semana ese es eh, el plan y, y la meta y si puedo conseguir hacer eso eh, me daré una muy buena oportunidad para llegar o ponerme al alcance Iván from Ubi Tennis next question please Please unmute yourself, Ivan. Take yourself off mute. Thanks. Ah, perdón. Hola, ¿cómo estás, Alex? ¿Todo bien? ¿Cómo llevaste los 14 días de cuarentena previo a bueno, tu participación en la ATP Cup y ahora en el Australian Open? ¿Fue difícil? Este, ¿Cómo te sentiste? Bueno, pues eh, la verdad es que yo lo tuve bastante fácil uh, comparado con algunos de mis comp compatriotas que... No pudieron salir de la habitación. Yo tuve cinco horas al día para, para salir, entrenar y eh, hacer físico. Entonces, para mí se me hizo eh, bastante fácil, prácticamente eh, en días normales. Pero sé que para mucha gente ha sido muy difícil y, y, y no es fácil estar 14 días en... Eh, en una habitación sin poder salir, eh, pero después está, estoy muy agradecido de poder tener esta oportunidad de estar aquí eh, en Australia, eh, poder jugar mi, mi, mi slam en casa y, y con muchas ganas. Ah, hacía tiempo que, que no volvía y, y puedo, puedo decir que tengo muchas ganas de empezar. Okay, last question, Andreas from El Tempo. Last question, thank you. Hola, eh, 
Please turn your es camera on, thank bonito, you. Es muy bonito volver a ver el público, es muy bonito volver a ver eh, las personas en torno al deporte. ¿Cuál es ese mensaje que el tenis le envía a, a la humanidad con la realización de este abierto de Australia, pues sabiendo que estamos en momentos difíciles? Pues, como tú lo has dicho, estamos en, en momentos muy difíciles eh, en todo el mundo y creo que ver cómo Australia como país ha solucionado el, el problema es algo eh, muy importante de ver. Estamos eh, en una posición donde podemos jugar con público y tener... Eh, lo más cercano de, de una vida normal que hemos tenido eh, en mucho tiempo. Y, y bueno, es, es algo divertido poder dar deporte a, a, a un país que, que ha sufrido durante mucho tiempo eh, en cuarentena para poder dejarnos a nosotros venir aquí y jugar este torneo. Ahora para el resto del mundo eh, estoy contento de que podamos dar deporte en vivo eh, para darle a, a la gente que, que lo está pasando muy mal y no poder salir de casa pues algo eh, que ver, algo entretenido y ojalá uh, podremos seguir esto durante todo el año y volver a una normalidad eh, más temprano. Alex, thanks for your time. That concludes our press conference.